Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I wanted to um, kind of go over how I was able to get into x-ray school and some trick, not tricks, but some advice I could give you guys just from my experience. Um, some of you may not know, I just recently got accepted into the radiologic technology program and it will be a two year degree. Also, if you don't know, I do have a, a bachelor's degree from Kennesaw State University in public health. Um, I got that back in 2019 and I am currently back in school um, and I just kind of want to give you a background. I did not ever want to go back to school. I knew I didn't want to go back and get a master's. Um, it just seemed kind of, I'm not gonna, I don't want to put that out into the air, but I just kind of feel like it's pointless. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how to, how I got into radio tech pro uh, program, how I learned about it and all that stuff. Um, so let's get into the video. I'm gonna preface by what I said, like getting a master's is pointless um, for me. Um, I just, I've kind of realized that my degree isn't just really, it's just not cutting it. <laughs> and I just wanted something that's gonna help long term. Nowadays, everybody has a bachelor's degree just about and it just doesn't really set you, it just doesn't really set you like, at least in my experience, uh, far apart from anybody. So I kind of wish I, I didn't like shit on community college when I was in high school. It just wasn't, when I was growing up, community college was basically for people who, I mean, in my mind, for people who like didn't do well in school, which I mean, it's true, but it, it could be so great um, if you if you do it right. Um, but anyway, it was like for people who did, did, did do well at school, people who are going back to college, um, and then also like maybe getting some prereqs done. And then I was always under the impression that a lot of the times, which is true, it could be true that you're, if you go from a community college to a four year college, then I was kind of taught that the credits wouldn't transfer over always, and it could be true, but you just have to do your research beforehand. Um, and yeah, we just kind of like looked down upon it. And little did I know, you could literally become an RN, uh, for a two year associate's degree. You could become like so many different things, tech, um, different techs and stuff. You don't necessarily have to get a BSN. Like it's just, that's something we had no idea when I was in college or in high school. Um, I wish I would have done dual enrollment, enrollment when I was in high school. It was just such a new concept to us. It just didn't really make sense. So yeah. Anyway, so Basically how I got into, uh, wanted to go back to school. I knew I wanted to go back to school to do something. I was thinking nursing because I had a lot of nursing friends. I worked in, I've worked in healthcare for years and a lot of my nurse friends, I was like, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm destined and, and, and I'm destined to do so much more than what I'm doing at like what I was doing my role in healthcare at the time. And I knew that in the future, like I wanted some, a job stability and you know, to be comfortable. I don't need to be rich. I don't need to be a doctor, you know, all that stuff. Being a doctor is like, that's a lot of responsibility. Um, stressful. The money is great, but everything has its, um, there's always gonna be a pro with the big con, or a big con with the big pro as well. So anyway, um, so my friend, one of my nurse friends, she's like, well, my husband's an MRI tech. She's like, I don't think you should do nursing, uh, but my husband's an MRI tech. And I was like, what is that? And she's like, this is what he does, and he makes a lot of money. Or he makes good money and he doesn't have to work a whole lot, whatever. I was like, okay, cool. So I looked into it. I'm like, wow, this seems really cool. And I have a bachelor's degree, like I said, and most of my credits were done. Actually, all my credits were done. But um, I'm old and the last time I did my, my first year of, of college was in 2013. So all of my science and all of my math credits were we're done so I had to retake my anatomy both my anatomies and algebra over again and then I had to do a psychology class or was it psychology yeah psychology so I had three classes that I needed to take um, I feel like I had to take more for some reason my first semester I did it felt like more anyways um, I took anatomy one anatomy and physiology one and then I took um, what is that? Uh, what was that class? Psychology. I took those together my uh, last fall, and then this spring I took um, math, and I took no, was it theory? I think I took math towards the end of last like fall semester. It was like a short term kind of class, and then in the beginning I took or and then like halfway through spring I took a a small a short semester of the second anatomy. Um, in physiology and y'all it was hard but I got an A 
funny enough, math is my strongest subject and I haven't done math in forever. It's always my strongest subject in school. Got to be in math. But I got A's in all the rest of my classes. And I was like, oh, the B in math is going to ruin my chances. Like, But I ended up with a 3.9 GPA. I think it was a 3.97 GPA. I think. Yeah, 3.97 GPA. So that that put me in a good spot. And then since I had so many credits, they didn't use my my GPA from my uh, bachelor's degree, thank God. Because I think I was like a three, like a low three. Um, or like mid three or something like that. So I got a brand new GPA because I took over 15 credits with, at the school, 3.97 GPA. And then obviously I got really good grades um, with the other classes. So definitely wanna make sure you do that. So check and see um, what the core classes are. Um, usually I was just a, you know, obviously like a, a different case because I've taken a lot of classes. So I only had to do two semesters. Um, and then I, oh, also, Find before you even get into like the core classes, definitely want to find a school that ha accredited school that does the x ray school or radiologic technology school. Um, and like in your area, or if you want to go to college somewhere else and like live in a different area. Um, I did have a backup school, um, in case I didn't get in, like hoping I could get into the other one. I didn't end up applying there to their radio tech program because I ended up getting in before or in my school of choice, thank God, that it's like near my house and I don't have to like possibly relocate for a couple years. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I just bought this house. I'm like, I'm gonna do what I, what it takes, but I just bought this house. Me and my husband just bought this house. Like, I mean, we might have to relocate, but anyway, so yeah, find a school, an accredited school. Um, and yeah, core classes and then just, the anatomy and physiology is super hard. I'm not gonna even lie to you. Any nothing, nothing comes, nothing good comes free or easy. You have to put dedication into it. It is, it's really not hard. It's just so much information in so little time, and you just you have to you have to want it. Nobody else can do it for you. You just have to want it. And I was working full time. I'm in the military, as you guys know. Um, and you know, I'm a wife, I have a household to run, like all of that stuff. And you just have to get a good schedule, get you a planner and do everything and get through those core classes. That is the, e like, honestly, it's the easy part. Um, and then anatomy, physiology too. That was, honestly, I felt like it was easier. Um, just, I guess I just figured out like the best way to study. And then I took the same, uh, professor, uh, her second class and she was awesome. There's so many resources out there now when I was in school and I, in college the internet was like super new So like Google and stuff was very foreign to us still so we did not have AI we did not have Like everything in a snap of a finger. We didn't have internet on our phones like barely like we barely had that Wi-Fi wasn't really a thing either so there are so, I think my generation, like we kind of appreciate it a little bit more or it's just easier because everything is so, it's there. We don't have to go to the library or go meet up with our professors or something. We can just look up a, a YouTube video. There's so many anatomy, physiology, YouTube videos out there. Like there's really no excuse. You just have to put in the work to do it. Um, and also I'm 30, almost, I am almost 30 years old. I am less than a year away from 30. And I went back to school after almost seven years and I got almost straight A's, almost straight A's, straight A's and a B. So you can do it. Um, to cut out all of the noise and just hone in on what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do, it's, it's temporary. Okay, off my soapbox. Um, next, so once you finish the core classes, you will, Definitely meet with your advisors in between. I met with my advisor like three, four times before I even applied. Um, and it's just a good tool to have. They're there for you. You're paying for it. Go as many times. Ask as many as ask as many questions. It's literally their job. Like they know everything about the the, the program. So I got to know my advisor very well. Um, who was like also over the program, or she's like some director or something over the radio tech program at my school. And is she just, you have a, have a checklist and everything like, um, and then meet with them. I think it's required for most schools anyway. I know it was my, it was required for mine beforehand. So definitely meet with your advisors to get on a good track. Like 
what's the best track for you um and then before actually i almost got ahead of myself so before so the big t7 exam if you didn't think human like anatomy was was big the t7 is a beast i took it twice i almost took it three times because i was like i don't know like i think i might i'm I may ha have to take it again, but I asked my advisor, she's like, do you think the score is good? She's like, that is a great score, but I can't tell you if you're gonna get in because like, she doesn't know what everybody else got because it, it depends on everybody. And then my program only accepts 15 students a year. So I was like, I don't know, I think I may have to take it again, but I did end up taking it twice um, and I can give you advice on how I studied. So I was supposed to start studying last year like august september frame i'm a bit of a procrastinator so i didn't really get a good start study like good start on studying um until january of this year and even then i still was playing around and i really didn't like buckle down until probably like march april may time frame and the first time i took it i think i studied for a couple weeks like i i uh i used a uh, future rn she's awesome i started hers and i didn't finish everything um but i did i did hit a lot of her modules and then a lot of youtube videos nurse chung is awesome brandon for math he's awesome but there's so many resources you don't even necessarily have to buy anything for the t7 but if you want someone who has everything organized in one sitting like for sure um but the t7 what i am taking from it is just a huge huge review over pretty much everything you've ever learned at school from kindergarten up until 12th grade in college and like like basic college classes it's everything so there's multiple sections um it was reading and then i think it was math science and then like language arts what is it like spelling and stuff like that the science portion is a freaking beast y'all honest to god i would my advice for the t7 is do flashcards on like obviously you like review all of the sections but i would say flashcards and a lot of practice questions but i would mostly focus on getting really good scores on all the other three sections so that if you need a cushion for the science because honest to god like in my opinion like it doesn't even matter how well you study for science it there's just things on there and, and you're just like what the heck is this like i've never heard of any of this before so it, it's 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 hard it's hard the science portion is a beast um it's a it's a beast um but i my second time that i took the teas i literally took off for an entire month of, school, of of work and everything and i studied every day and I got an even higher score on it, and y'all, it, it got me in, y'all. So um, after I took the T7, I I was still scared, so I kept all my notes, and I was still like studying in case I didn't get in, and I needed to, you know, retake it again at the end, end of the year. I was about to go hard again. I was fully prepared, um, but I applied to the to the program. So do the application. Um, your school will tell you how that process works. I know a lot of people have um, interviews and stuff that they take. I didn't have to do an interview for mine. Um, our application process was based on a point system, so it depends on how many points you get for each category, like your grades, your GPA, your T-score, like all of that ta is taken into account. Um, and like I said, they only accept 15 students once a year for our radio tech program. So. I feel so blessed um, and I think a, two or three weeks later I got the email that I got in and then I've got orientation in a couple weeks I've already taken my CPR class uh, you have to be BLS certified if you work in healthcare um, so yeah that is basically how I got into radio technology school I would just focus I know it's hard I know you want to be social I know you want to go out and stuff but this is so temporary for something so great in the future and then you can do all of that stuff later. Um, I wish when I was in high school or in college that I, one, knew about stuff like this, but that I took my schooling a little bit more seriously. Like, I feel like, a, like when people leave high school and go into college and leave home, 
it's all new it's all fun and whatever and you don't really take it that serious and then you don't start taking it serious until you're a senior junior senior in college and it's kind of too late in a sense to catch back up like after not making the best grades um, my grades were decent but definitely not what I was capable of and it took me to getting into like my later college years and joining the military and all that stuff to make the president's list to make the dean's list whatever like and by then y'all I was trying to survive and get the heck on up out of there so yeah um once I get into like do my orientation and stuff I will definitely come back and kind of let you know how that process is I, there are videos on here like that explains people's experience I just haven't seen a lot and like like a lot of um like in-depth videos or but I can only speak on my experience of course um and then of course when I start school this fall I will definitely be doing a lot more vlogs and bringing you guys along on my journey I'm so excited there's just the possibilities are endless and I just can't wait until to see like what my future holds with this new change um so I'll also let you know how it's going to work with me being in the military um, and then also working and stuff like that if I'm able to work at all and don't think I'm missing anything I did not write anything down to remind myself if I missed anything but um, yeah look out for more videos if you have any questions regarding the process T7 all that stuff I can um, answer them in the comments um, just let me know so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys